anybody who has either followed the television upfront landscape or indeed who goes in to call on television buyers knows uh, that television is still very strong. It's still a growth business. CPMs continue to be on the rise. And of course, that's driven largely by scarcity. In any business where there's scarcity and a long-term demonstrated ability to produce results, you'll have a strong marketplace. And that continues to be the case in television. What's changing is that brands are aware that now, uh, through all the growth that we've seen in digital video consumption and digital video technology over the last several years, now there are alternatives. And what we see increasingly is brands looking to understand more what's possible in digital video. And there is openness to shifting budget for not quite the first time. This has been building now for a few years. But clearly brands are aware that they have options that exist in digital video. And what we're seeing is brands now relying upon that technology, relying upon data, relying upon programmatic platforms to achieve the reach and scale and efficiency that they're accustomed to in television, but to do it in a more lean forward environment and an environment that's proving to be more effective in reaching younger audience groups. So there are lots of people that would have you believe that data is completely commoditized and audience targeting is audience targeting and simply move on, accept whatever data you can get from any partner. And we simply believe that's not the case. In fact, by combining our total aggregate view of consumer behavior on desktop, of course, but also now through our acquisition of Flurry, the activity that's occurring on over one and a half billion mobile devices, we have incredible insight into who people are as consumers. And when we walk in that room to tell our story, it's, it's about painting a picture of what we know about the holistic consumer behavior. Who are they based on what they've told us about themselves? What types of content do they have demonstrated interest in? What are the signals that we can glean out of their email inbox or the search box that they enter their query into on Yahoo? And in fact, what types of content are they consuming and sharing? What type of transactional activity can we observe in mobile environments? And it's the sum total of that picture that gives us a very unique view that's entirely non-commoditized and non-commoditizable that allows us to deliver more effective advertising experiences for brands who understand the power of that. And so that's the story we're telling brands about not just having data, but having differentiated data that actually improves the caliber of your investment in video advertising. What I'm excited about in the realm of digital video is that brands are ready. They're ready to look at new ways to buy, new ways to engage consumers, new ways to distribute content, new targeting strategies that are available to them right now. A lot of the things that we talked about as the future of digital video are there, and they're there now. There's been an incredible proliferation in the number of people that are producing very high quality video programming. We happen to be one of those companies. There are many, many others. At the same time, you have this new opportunity to fuse that access to great content and adjacency and sponsorship and integration into all of that world-class content with programmatic strategies that extend the reach and drive even greater distribution of both brand content, but also the content that we're developing and presenting to consumers. Those tools are available now, they are scaled now, and smart brands are taking advantage of the opportunity to increase their investment in digital video and increase the impact of their marketing investments. And that gets me fired up every day. How do we join that conversation in the most effective way possible? How do we present the most powerful solutions to our customers? And how do we compete uh, with that ever-expanding landscape of companies who are interested in capturing maximum market share? It's a terrific challenge. It's a terrific opportunity for us to create more value for our partners and for our customers. And I couldn't be more excited about the opportunities that exist for all of us today.